What's going on, YouTube? You know what it is. It's your favorite perfumer's favorite perfumer, Casper Performance. And today we are reviewing one of the most prestigious houses of all time, Galon. And today we have Galon L'Homme Ideal. I don't know if that's how you say ideal in French. I don't know. I don't speak French. But, anyways, we got perfumer Thierry Wasser or Wasser? Wasser? I don't know. Maybe he's German, right? I don't know. Uh, notes of the fragrance. Top notes we got citruses, orange blossom. Yeah, I don't know about that. We got rosemary, bitter orange. I say that because orange blossom, orange flower, neroli, kind of pricey. So who knows? Uh, middle notes, we got almond, which is strange because a lot of almond notes are actually on the top of the fragrance, but you know, whatever. Fragrance marketing, at it again. Uh, we got almond, tonka, and base notes of leather, vetiver, and cedar. Now, the other thing with cedar is most cedars, in my opinion, are more mid notes than they are base notes, but we're going to get into it check it out and we're gonna go with a tree spray them things i don't know why oh <laughs> let's talk about this shit we got a dump thank god oh my god finally bro jesus christ there's like fucking 10 videos, man. I have one good perp. This is good. Okay, so immediately I'm not picking up any orange blossom, but there is that citrus top note for sure. So you smell the linalol, the ethyl linalols. And you're picking up a very sweet almond, which is that mixture with the tonka. So there is no tonka. If you see Tonka in any perfume, just know it don't exist. It's just Kumarin. Kumarin is a powder. You want to see some Kumarin, guys? You guys want to see it? I have so much Kumarin. It's like, I don't know. You, I don't know if you can see it. As again, I'm recording on the back of my phone, so I have no idea. So nice. I have, I have far too much Kumarin for one man. If I was doing like big batch selling, then that's a good amount of Kimorin, but for what I'm doing, I don't need that much. Now, the thing with almond is that a lot of, not a lot, but there is a decent number of perfumes that will get you to an almond point that are restricted, um, such as like anise aldehyde, benzaldehyde also works. Benzaldehyde smells more cherry in my opinion, but it could absolutely go almond depending on its environment. What's surrounding? Product of his environment. So you can pick up some of that anise aldehyde for sure. There might be benzaldehyde, but I don't think so. Because the thing with benzaldehyde is it's a very unstable type material. But it does have better longevity if it's diluted with benzyl alcohol. So that's a whole other spiel. Um, yeah, you could use like acetophenone, another one. I can't think of what the whole... I'm thinking paracrestal methyl ether in my head, but that's definitely not what it is. And I can't... What the fuck is the name of it, man? I don't know. It has like a whole molecule name. I can't think of it right now. It's like four words of like phenol, methyl, ethyl, ether, ether, methyl, methyl. And this is also one of those perfumes for sure that if you go out, no one's probably going to smell like you. You're going to smell like you. Um, Leather? That citrusy top is pretty much gone. You can smell some Isui Super in here. You can definitely pick up some musk. This has a nice, it has a, definitely a nice vibe to it. I don't smell any vetiver or leather though. That's, you were selling me on the notes, but it's very, very, yeah, whatever that word is. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it's very nice. This is very nice. I actually really like this, you know? It's been a while. I've been I've been in the shitter lately with these fragrances because I don't know. Everything just kind of sucks. 
It's your fault, not mine. I don't make the shit, bro. I just smell the shit. Yeah, so with Ice Me Super, Ice Me Super to me is a cost-effective material that works wonders and it can be used at like ridiculous amounts in a formulation. And it can kind of help carry a perfume. So as of right now, you're smelling these almond humarin type materials. Like you can pick up the Hedion for sure. Cause Hedion is the way I kind of think about Hedion is that it's not an in your face type smell, but it's always present, right? It's like omnipresent. It's just there doing its thing. It's like the, if you ever go to a party and there's someone who's like, you know, you go to a party and there's someone who's just fucking like, I'm that guy, dude. What's up? And there's someone else who's like, oh, dude, I'll just, uh, I'll just hold up this wall, man. That's Hedion. Hedion's the guy on the wall. He don't know why he did, but he just, he, his presence is there. And that's what heady on it and you could build on it and it, this is getting sweeter for sure so you know fucking leather though and i don't smell anything better for like i'm not picking up either of those so that's kind of unfortunate i'm wondering though if down the line am i gonna pick up okay so however long this video is now what are we five minutes in this it smells even better now this is really good dude I like this a lot, man. I'll fucking wear this shit, bro. And you know me, I'm picky as shit. I wear like four perfumes for real. I wear Pure Havan. I wear Shergi. I wear 1740 Marquis de Sade from Historia de Parfum. Why would you name? Okay, so hold on, just real quick. So Historia de Parfum, <laughs> Marquis de Sade, 1740. That's one of my favorite fragrances and it doesn't really get hype it does like no one talks about it that's one of my favorite fragrances i love fucking immortel and i have immortel and i use immortel but that perfume just made immortel like stratospheric i believe that off my nose this fragrance smells like many okay so a lot of perfumes right they are built with like this 60 to 70 percent of the same shit so and i mean this seriously because i look across a lot of like gcms reports and things like that like analyses of perfumes of what molecules occur in them and typically at what percent they might be occurred at hold on Thirsty. and they'll usually have like 20 25 percent isoe super 20 percent hedione five percent floral four percent ethylenol maybe like one percent helionol some floral ozone, and they're typically built on like the same thing with like 11% Habana Live, 10% Galaxolide. And so you just have this 60, 50 to 70% of the fragrance done with like the same six molecules. And this occurs over and over and over. It's like very consistent the way that people build perfumes because it's just such a nice foundation to just add character on top. So this actually kind of smells like that with this almond thing on top and they just said leather for some reason why i don't know like i feel like i've made this before but just not with the almond if that makes any sense i hope that makes sense speaking about things i make if you're watching this and you want to smell something hit me up i'll send you some shit i don't care i got dude i got i got so many fragrances that are pretty decent in comparison to the shit i smell that are like throwaways to me i'm like eh, whatever i'm just that good bro. i'm just like i take stuff and i'm like oh banga easy berlin has so many stories man if you ever i know a lot of people they're into perfumes just to be into perfumes and to hear about new shit this that and the third but if you could ever find old information or if you're into the process of creating fragrances and you read about like things from girl on they're so interesting so interesting and they make you like low-key jealous that you don't have what they had and the shit they did because some of the things just sound so fucking crazy because they would do like they would make like a, a a base so in perfumery we call things bases not base notes just bases which are 
maybe I'm trying to like so certain bases would be maybe like a small perfume or it would be I'm gonna make a mimosa base or I'm gonna make a jasmine base or an iris base so it's like a accumulation of a bunch of shit amalgamation of a bunch of shit and then they're gonna take that thing and they're gonna put it in a perfume and then they're like well i'm not done so i'm gonna take this perfume with a huge base with a bunch of molecules tons of lines of materials and whatnot naturals and they're gonna put that whole perfume into something else and then that becomes a perfume and they take that whole perfume and then they put just that entire perfume in another base and then they take that whole thing and they put it in something else it's like this whole rabbit hole of like fragrance creation it's so cool I mean, you read in these stories of like Jean-Paul Guerlain and Jacques Guerlain and all these names that come up of the, the house of Guerlain. And I'm not knocking Thierry, Wasser, but there's no way the budget isn't there. I think it's just in terms of like, I, I don't know if it's because they sold or something like that. I have no idea where I'm trying to go with this. I don't know. As I said, it smells like a very good contemporary fragrance. Like uh, a fragrance that came out. I don't know when it came out. Probably like 2010 or some shit like that. And it's super nice. It's super wearable. It smells good. You're not really going to smell like anybody else. But it smells... It has that component of a multitude of other fragrances with a little interest on top of it. Because everyone seems to forget about the interesting part. Um, I don't know if it's because of, you know, maybe Western... Um, western taste i guess because for some reason why we just want to smell like fucking herbs <laughs> and sweet herbs i don't i don't know it's really nice man it is really nice but it's just missing body if that makes sense i think that's the word i'm looking for something with body something that's like fuck you i'm here right that's what i want to smell at least from the house of girl on but anyways this is really nice it's super sweet. I would absolutely give you my permission to buy this if that's what you're into, 100%. Um, anyways, that's all I got for today. Uh, yeah, that was Guerlain Lome Ideal. Enjoy. Have a blessed day. Phenomenal day. Marvelous day. Adios, amigos. I love you. <laughs>